Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have for you five Halloween DIYs that I made with almost everything from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that didn't come from the Dollar Tree was some Cricut vinyl, which they do have. Mine did not come from there, but you don't have to use the vinyl. So I hope you enjoy, stick around, like, subscribe, watch till the end, and comment below which one is your favorite. And Wellington and I say, hoo, 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 happy Halloween. All right, friends, we are gonna do DIY number one. And we're gonna turn some of this garland, the skeleton garland, into a Buckeye stand. So first I took some letters, just, oops, sorry, just from the um, letter packs that they sell, the wooden letters. I painted them red or scarlet. Then we're going to glue our skeletons to this board. I took one of these planks, and well, actually I took two, and I used wood glue and stuck them together just to make it a little more sturdy. And then I drew a line. I'm going to glue these little guys to it. And then what we're gonna do is spray paint the whole thing black. Now, this is how they come, right? They're all floppy and whoppy. So the first thing I like to do is stabilize the head. So I don't want his little head to move. So I just take a little hot glue to the back of his head. You want a decent blob there. And just let that dry. Then I'm gonna glue the hips together here. See, they're on a hinge. I could have taken them out and cut them, but all I really wanna do is I'm just taking another blob of hot glue right on those hips. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna be spray painted, but what I do want to do is make sure he's gonna stand up. So I just stand him and make sure his He's in the right position. His feet are flat. If you can see here, I hold his feet and then I just hold him like that until the glue dries in the hips. And then if there's any excess glue before I go spray painting, I just, you know, pick it off, cut it off, do whatever. But I wanna make sure it dries before I do the next step. And if you see here, <laughs> this guy, I have their hands up because they're going to hold the letters once they're painted. So the next thing I need to do, and I'm just taking some scissors and it's a little, you know, oops. Actually, let me use, I found that my little nips get a better cut. And then his arm just went to me. I do one arm at a time. And I take right here on the little shoulder joint, a decent glob. <laughs> and then I put it back in where it needs to go. And I just sit it there. And you want to hold it to dry. So it's all right now, it's just kind of reinventing the guy. Girl, we don't know. It's a skeleton. Right, so we don't really know what it is. I keep losing my arms here, guys, on the ground. And then we're going to, and, and then any stray plastic, I just try to trim off before I go out and spray paint this guy. So like I have these little, from where they were molded, And then we're gonna go right here and you just find a spot. You just wanna make sure the hands are up enough that they will, um, you know, hold the letters and that they look decent. I'm using cool or low temp hot glue. I'm not using high temp. The high temp, if I had to guess, I think would probably melt these skeletons but I'm just holding that in place. Now see back here, my, oops, the glue kind of dried funny, so I'm taking that off. 
and we're gonna try again. But not a big glob, just a little one. There we go. So we're gonna let him dry, or I guess cool. And it's mainly, I will get a little, mainly um, the head that needs to dry. But I'm just adding a little more glue. I switched over to a different glue gun for this one. There we go. So we're just gonna make sure he can stand. And he can. So I'm gonna lay him over here and just let him do his thing. Now on this block, I did draw a pencil line. It just lets me know where the center is. I also need to sit down for this so I can see. And I just wanna glue their feet together and here. And then I eventually will glue this H up here. And what we're hoping for is that he doesn't fall backwards. So I'm going to do a fair amount of glue on each foot. I'm not going to lie. This is a little creepy, but you know, whatever. And he's going to stand on the end here. Right? Right. And you just need his little feet to dry. Or at least enough that he'll stand on his own so I can go to the next little man here. I also want to piece everybody out so they're spaced out evenly. The one guy, and I'll show you his hands, that I did a little different. Everybody else is the same, except for the person that's, <laughs> the skeleton that's gonna hold the eye. His hands need to be a little closer together. So this guy here, his hands are a little closer so he can hold the eye. So I'm just, so he will go right here because that's my eye. And then the other guy can go right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I hope you can see what I'm doing here with the glue. I'm just gluing their feet. These are fun. You could do anything with these little guys. I saw on TikTok, somebody had them sitting down and put a bowl on top of them. Like put them down and then glued their hands up like this and then put a, um, a bowl on top of their heads. There we go. And then our last friend is gonna go right here and you see how they're not all standing up perfectly straight that's okay because people don't all stand up straight right just glue in the feet okay so now what we're gonna do is spray paint him but i want to get him down here without my finger getting in the glue there we go So we have O-H-I-O. -O. But I need the hot glue to dry and then I need to spray paint them. I'll bring you along while I'm doing the spray paint on them and show you. Um, and then we'll come back up here and attach their letters to them and that's it. And then if you wanna have some like football garland or maybe something down here, you totally can. But for right this second, we need to go do some spray painting. Okay, I'm loving how they're looking. So we are going to attach the letters now. And guys, so easy. Literally, well, yeah. I guess I'll just... I say so easy, and then I was like, no, not easy. Yes, easy. Hot glue. Get that O. Done. See how easy that is? Now, where do I want that to go, right? So then I'm just going to do the same place. 
Now on this one, I may have to like manipulate his hands a little bit, which is fine. Hold that. This one here just gets a little eye. Um, he needs two hands to hold that. Oh, hot. Careful. Careful. Now, I feel like... Oh, I'm going to huff here for a second. I feel like if you wanted to, you could use a popsicle stick or a dowel to hold these guys up. Like a dowel and glue it to the spine. Would work as well. Oop, that's a little high. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I feel like there's, you know, all different ways you can get these to stick, you know, have them to stand up. But I'm going to let this lay in this position to dry. I'm going to move it over. I have little stringies out of the way. I'm, I'm afraid to move it. <laughs> I don't want to move it. It's almost dry, this last one. Oop. And the thing is with the glue, if you if it's stringy like that, just leave it and then you can go back and fix it. All right, let's do it this way. Let's turn them sideways. <gasps> oh, guys, I'm obsessed. I do need to fix my eye. My my guy holding my eye is not doing too well. So let's fix him. I know you can't really see it, but I'm just kind of fixing his little hand. And I don't care if it's perfect at all. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for a second and then I will show you what it's gonna look like. Oh guys, I love it. Now, I did take a skewer, if you can see in the back, and I'll flip it around here in a second, but I took a skewer and I painted it black and glued it just to hold them upright so everybody seemed to be in a better position. So hang on one second and I'll turn them around. Here's what I did. I just took a skewer and cut it with my wire nips and hot glued it to their backs. It just helps everybody stay in a better position. That is all. Oh, I love it. All right, this one's not really a DIY. I just wanted to show you how I painted it. And by painted it, I used paint markers. Now, these are the Sharpie brand, but I also use the Dollar Tree brand all the time. And I just colored it in. That's all. Nothing spectacular here. But I feel like this is going to look good on my mantle with the other DIYs that I'm doing. So I'm trying to stay all within this color scheme. Yeah, I didn't even fill the hole in up here, which I may go by, put some crystals or something. Cause I think I'm doing a little spooky glam. But yeah, I just colored it. Nothing special. Not even paint, just with markers. And honestly, regular markers would work too. So there's that. So I guess that's number two. Okay, number three is a sign. Now I took from Christmas one of these gift tag signs that I just had and I sanded it and I painted this black and then it didn't end up getting used for what I was going to use it for. So I turned it over and painted it purple and I could have used, left it black as well. Then I did use my Cricut for this, but in the craft coming up, you're going to see that you can do this with paper, like print off just on your printer and glue it on. But I happen to have a Cricut, so... That's what I'm gonna do. And then I took these, they come in a three pack of these witches brooms. I took off the bow and I just added a purple accent. And I just don't feel like everything needs a bow, but that's me, you know? If you like bows, you keep the bows. Everybody should do what everybody wants. Now, this is a free font that I have. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Yes, I could get the ruler out. And do the, but no, I'm not going to. Um, I have said before, I did find the Dollar Tree vinyl. And I don't think it's a good, I don't think it's good for your money. 
Um, and the only reason I'm saying that is it's very thin and the backing doesn't stick good. And the paper stuck to my Cricut board, which is bizarre because it was a, it's an old Cricut mat that's barely sticky. So there we go. We have witch, or I'm sorry, broom parking. And by the way, if I use this Dollar Tree clear shelf liner as transfer tape, I don't buy the Cricut stuff and I keep it. And then this says violators will be towed. <laughs> Get it, towed? I, I make myself laugh here, guys. And we'll do that right there. Like, how easy is this? Now, I did leave the hole up here, so if I wanna hang it, or I could fill it in. I could also get some bat stickers. You can also just use stickers on this as well. Now I have my broom here, because it's, duh, broom parking. And I'm gonna glue it here at the bottom, because why not? And then how do I want it, right? Like that. How fun is that? And then if you had other stickers, you could put like the little witch's hat in here, which I feel like I have a witch's hat. Let's see. That's already even painted. <gasps> Ooh, I do. I have a black hat. Ooh, I have a bat that I can put on here. Or we have the black and the orange hat, maybe. I could do that. Yeah, and then I could maybe do a purple. And watch how quickly these, these paint pens work. We'll do a purple bat. I'm literally just going to color this bat with a different color purple. How easy is that, guys? That's I love these paint pens. Okay, do it over a mat, unless you're doing it like me on a table that you don't care about. Um, this table is my craft table. Look at us, crafting on the fly. Okay, and these were all just sticker, uh, the wooden stickers that I have, and I peeled the sticker off the back. I could also put my little haunted house, but there's not really room there. But, let we can do our little orange witch's hat there. Our little black one there. And our little bat up here. Now, if you can see, I have some stringies because I'm just like everybody else with the glue gun. I, I don't, this is a nice glue gun because it stands, but I wanna get one of those with the precision tip. So this one's nice. I get asked, asked a lot about this. It's Ad Tech and it's a stand up. It can take batteries too. There, there is my, my little Halloween sign. And I will show you that in a second when I complete it. Oh, friends. I hope you like my broom parking. Violators will be towed. Ha <laughs> ha You know I love a good pun, right? This is my perfect sign. I love it. And I hope you guys do too. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And you try some of these on your own. Have a good one. Bye. Alrighty. Now, I've got a couple different takes on the potion bottles. This one here, I took this, looks like a mason jar with a bow, of course, and all the print, and it says, I love fall most of all. Now, you can turn it over or do whatever, but I'm extra. We all know that, right? So, I peeled off the sign on the back and spray painted it all black. My colors, if you haven't figured out yet, I'm trying to go with like a dark black and purple, but more whimsical. I'm not a creepy Halloween person, for sure. 
Now, I thought I could change the color on this, but I don't want to. I want to leave it this metal. So I am just putting hot glue on here. And these popped off so easy. But I will show you one of my best friends when dealing with any of these wooden signs is one of their putty knives. This thing is great on oh, my hands. It gets up under and just pops things off so easy. Now that's warm, so be careful. Be careful with that. Then I just printed these sign, this paper sign off of the internet. I copied it over to a Word document and I printed the Word document. Now, this is just glue, a glue stick. I like the glue stick opposed to Mod Podge, um, especially when I'm using like this type of thing with the copy paper because it doesn't get as wet and it dries pretty darn quickly. So I'm going to, and again, I'm just eyeballing, eyeballing this a little bit and rubbing it down. And if you want, you can take your, just be careful, you can do that. Then we can decorate it. If you want, you could take um, some of these you know, crystals, or I'm probably just going to do um, one here across the top. Right here, I'm just there. And then I'll pop off that last one. Just because I like the little sparkle. Now, if I want, I probably could do, let me get my tweezers. Tweet, oh, that's not the right. Tweezers are good for putting these little crystals and things down. So you can just pop one off. Or not. Oops, my hair in the way here. And then do one on each corner. Just however you want to decorate it. You know, this is your project for your house. I'm just giving you ideas. Oops. Of what I do. And then if you feel like this is not going to stick, because I did have to go back and glue some of these down on my other projects. But I don't think this is heavy enough to worry about it. So there we go. And I just have, and this will sit up on its own with some other, other witches um, potion bottles that I have. Like, here we go. So if you found one of these jars at the Dollar Tree, and if you're like me, sometimes I don't know what to do with these. For this, I felt like I was going to put maybe some candy in it. And then I decided that was not a good idea. So again, right off the internet, I printed some pre creepy labels. And the great thing is this just sticks nicely on the first go. On plastic, on glass. This is just you know a glue stick and there are a dime a dozen for especially back to school time and then i attach it you could tie some ribbon make a bow do some twine but i bought some different filler from the dollar tree Let's see if i can get that to straighten a little bit and you have some time like i just moved that sign to make it more straight and then i'm looking for the shorter bones out of this package. Because I don't think, oh yeah, they will. Some of the taller ones will fit too. So let's do some of these big bones. Down in here. And that's one take on the jar. I just filled it with some bones and a sign, and that's a potion jar. I'll give you a really good look here in a minute. 
then I decided, well, I have these jars in my life, right? These come in the kitcheny section. And I just, again, with the spray paint, you know I'm a little obsessed with spray paint, right? I cut out some different labels again. You can do this for your signs too. And if you want to look a little more antique, you can dip them in like a tea bath or coffee. And then we're just gonna stick that right on there. Now be careful that you don't get too much fingers up here and end up smearing your ink. You know, it is ink. And then I spray painted this black. And then what I thought I would put in this little guy here with some shrunken heads, because you know, we need shrunken heads at Halloween time, right? So we will say just a couple of each. And um, in a situation like this, I do like to kind of mix them up. I can be very even in my in my dealings. I don't do well with <laughs> scattered things, but I think that's good. And then you just put the lid on it. Like how easy is that? And now I have three different types of potion bottles just to sit out and they're glass and they're nice, but any glass would work. Any leftover, I just did a little one here. Now in this, I took some of the um, pumpkin leaf filler, or um, leaf filler, uh, vase filler. So I have those and I will show you what they look like. And here we go. Guys, I think they are adorable. And I hope you think they are too. So cute, so cute, so easy. Perfection. So I hope you like them. Okay, here's the last sign I'm gonna make. This was just an oval sign that I got from the Dollar Tree as usual. Um, and I have one of these tools, which I find super easy to feed, to feed a uh, ribbon, to feed ribbon through here. Just gotta get it going. This hole's a little small, so we'll have to work at it. I did cut my, um, my ribbon long for this purpose, really. But you just kinda have to push it in there and grab it on this side. And you can use twine, again, use anything you want. I will melt the end on this, I just do not know where my lighter is right this second. But I like the knot on the front, that's just me. And this one I think will get hung up. Um, I try to use the bigger side so it doesn't just poke through the ribbon, if that makes sense. But this one is so easy. This would be a great thing to do with the little ones because it is just, let's do it right there. Um, stickers. These are the DIY stickers that I got this year with the whole scene. So it literally is just And watch your fingers, you know, people get cut. <laughs> oh, speaking of, my cut is healing. Okay, so all I'm doing is hot glue, which I have my glue gun out, just to help if they don't stick. DIY stickers, I spray painted this, but you can do anything you want. You can paint it, you can leave it. I'm just going to build myself a little scene. So we like the little house, right? And I may not even need, um, I might need glue, but I might not need glue, but I'm trying to make him straight, that straight. And then of course we need our witch who's gonna go flying through the sky. And then some bats. 
And you can paint these whatever color you like or not paint them at all. And then I do like this little boo at the bottom. And that is literally it. If you wanted to, you could put another bat, you could put a spider. I just love it. And I think it will be so fun and so easy, especially for a little person to just place the stickers, but you're giving them the base to do it. But I love this and I think it will hang in my kitchen. And I didn't even need my hot glue gun. So I'm gonna unplug that. that little sign. I just love it. I think it's adorable and I think it will be perfect for a little person. I might put like 31 in the middle there in white, just so we all know it's for Halloween. That also will look good hanging on a doorknob or on your like kitchen cabinet door. And I think I will put the 3-1 on it when I'm done.